So, Coach Chief, how do you feel about going into third practice with the Braves today? I'm oh, really excited. You know, no classes. Uh, that's the most important thing. You know, around right here, school is cool, so we finally get a day without the educational piece as it relates to football. Um, but now what we got to do is just continue to get better. Uh, we want to see can we block out the distractions and just hone in on the retention. You know, offense doing a really good job of giving defense a lot of different looks. Coach Rowe and the defense staff doing a really good job of just guys are playing with a high intensity level. You know, I just want to see the retention of the execution uh, piece um, just from the uh, operational standpoint on both sides. Thank you. How much longer are you going to sit around? You going to sit there for another 30 seconds? Maybe another minute? Another hour? Or maybe start in a few hours? Or better yet, let's kick it off tomorrow. You going to delay it till tomorrow? Or maybe put it off for another week? Another month? Another year? How much longer are you going to just sit there and not move your life forward? All the real achievers in this world, they just get going. They start anywhere, at any time, in any place. They start regardless of their pain or whether they're pumped up. Their location doesn't fucking matter. They just begin. And you gotta just take the leap. Just dive into the work. Just get up and move and watch procrastination crumble. If you can't take control of your own brain and it controls you, you're f You've got control over your mind. You've just got to enforce it. you got to tell your brain where you want to go and what you want to do. You don't give it an option to slack off. So the next time you're feeling weak or lazy or just not in the mood, remind those feelings they don't get a fucking say in what you do today. You're going to remain disciplined, committed, and getting shit done. When that alarm goes off at 4 or 5 in the morning and your mind complains, you tell it, this is our new normal. You've got to command your brain and tell it where you want to head, why you're doing this, and the way you're going to make it happen. You don't get better by sitting on the damn couch. You get better by stepping out into the world and giving it everything you've got every fucking day. And everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. Everybody will plan it. But barely anybody is willing to roll up their sleeves and just go get it because most people in the world are lazy. They don't want to do things that don't come easy. This daily grind, it's not for the faint-hearted, it's for the tough, the relentless, the ones who look at the impossible and say, that I can do it. It's about pushing past your limits, breaking new ground, and doing the hard sh that everyone else is too scared or too lazy to tackle. You gotta learn to sacrifice, to give up, to go up. It doesn't matter how talented or skilled you are. Without discipline, you're nothing. Why? Because without it, you'll give up at the slightest hint of struggle. You have to force yourself to do the very best you can every time. There are no excuses, no backing down. You must keep moving, keep striving, keep pushing the envelope of what you thought was possible. This is the path if you want to get to the next level. Discipline is about doing the shit you hate, but doing it like you fucking love it. It's your mindset that gets you through the hard times. So you got to get your fucking ass up. Whether you're tired, exhausted, or just don't feel like working, then you got to grind. It's all on you. You're in control of your mind, not the other way around. You have to assert your will over your feelings because those feelings will never align with your dreams. Beat your feelings into submission because when you can beat your feelings into submission, that's exactly what discipline is. When you decide to go after success, you got to understand it's not just about enjoying the easy days when the sun's shining and all is going good. No, you got to be willing to deal with the dark, grimy, nasty days when you don't want to do anything. When you can get to the point where you are able to execute on your mission during these days, you will make it happen. You're signing up for the grind. The late nights, the early mornings, you're committing to the sh that separates the winners from the whiners. So, lace up your boots, tighten your grip, and charge into the battlefield of life like a relentless f***ing warrior. Because let me tell you, success doesn't give a sh** about your excuses or half-assed efforts. It rewards those who say, I will conquer this sh** no matter what. You can't just dip your toes in. You have to dive in head first and let your dream consume you like a f 
fucking wildfire. You've got to eat it, breathe it, and sleep with that dream on your mind. While your competitors are sleeping, partying, making excuses, you are working, grinding, making progress, making moves, and making shit happen. It's not enough to just want it. You've got to be all in, pushing through all the hard shit to reach the other side where the best things in life are waiting for you. Nobody wakes up fired up every single day. What makes you successful is your ability to execute whether you're burning with passion or not. That's what discipline is. Doing the shit you don't want to do because you know it has to be fucking done. It's about breaking away from the usual, shocking your system. Try getting your ass up at four in the morning one day. Just see what happens. See what happens if you push yourself to work harder than you ever have. Expand yourself and your limits. You have no idea of what you're capable of doing. You need the mentality of an unstoppable machine. One that never accepts anything less than success. It's a mentality that tells the world, you gotta take my life before you can ever take my drive. It's about enduring any level of pain, suffering, discomfort for as long as it takes. You wanna make your dreams a reality? You wanna rise above the sea of mediocrity that drowns most people's ambitions? Well, you better be ready to put in the kind of work that makes sweat pour, muscles ache, and your mind scream for mercy. You gotta stop half-assing everything. You gotta work like hell and pour everything you got into that thing. And no one's coming to save you. No one's gonna do all this hard for you. You gotta do it all yourself. You gotta prove to yourself and the world what you're able to do because people are gonna underestimate you all the time. So you show them exactly what you can do. You won't have to say one word. Your actions will speak for themselves. Most of the time, we don't have someone there to keep us in line, to make us do push-ups. We did a good job getting better. I, we ain't where we want to be, but we ain't where we was now. I you gotta understand, a lot of times, even me, when I was a first-time head coach, I didn't know what the f to look at. I just sat back there and looked, because that's what coaches did. I, until I found out. I, okay, what I want to look at from an offensive standpoint is how many times can we get out without coaches having to tell you where to line? Because the most important thing is you walk through universe you're in right? That means whatever you want to be. How successful you want to be. Right? When you align with that, then your assignment is to do everything you can to accomplish that. Does that make sense? Yeah. You stop me at any time if you don't understand. So today, I didn't hear a lot of coaches telling you to move over, move back. Right? So we got better in our alignment. Right? Assignment-wise, we'll continue to watch the tape, guys. If you do your job for three and a half hours more than other people, a lot of times it don't matter who on the other side Because they'll f*** it up. We just don't want to be the ones that f*** it up. Like we did 11, 12, 23. Everybody know what the, what the numbers represent now. Six, 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 six other games. All right, if that shit ain't tatted on you, all right, then you ain't got no existence of what we're doing. All right, that's the most important part right there. But we got better. Small things, offensive. Preach now, tell it. It's almost like you just telling the ref, hey, look, ain't no sense of being first and ten. We're going to this up, so we got to go first and twenty. So if that's the case now, I'm smart enough to know if we're going to do that, Steve, guess what we're going to start bragging with? First, first and 20. If that's what we're going to do, and we ain't going to be disciplined enough, I'm going to say, Coach, see, look, hey, not only do you have three plays to get 20 yards, I'm going to give you four, depending on where we at, because we ain't disciplined enough. And I know we'll get it, but why make it even hard? Because right? a lot of you all, it's already been hard on your first birth. So why you want to continue to do that? All right, so pre-snap penalty, give yourself a chance, guys. I, I Braves on me, Braves on three, one, two, three. Hey. 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 Hey.